from the 19. Fighting fire with fire. A Lowell store owner face to face with robbers, not backing down and battling back. You could call him brave and fearless, but soon you may also have to call that store owner a suspect in a crime. Police saying tonight the owner isn't out of the woods, even though he was protecting himself, his family, and his store. 19's Brandon Gano is live in Lowell with what the owner used to chase off the robbers and why he could face charges now. Well, Kim, he used a handgun to protect himself. That's not the problem. The problem is, police say, is that he chased the robbers as they were running out of the store with the gun and actually shot at them while they were running away. So technically, he wasn't in any danger at the time. In this surveillance video, you can see the two men jump over the counter and attack the store owner. One of the masked men held him down while the other started grabbing cash. They just grabbed my uh, face. He didn't say anything at all. Just give me the money, give me the money. The robbers ran out of the 99 store in Lowell, but the owner ran after them with a gun. I just want to get my money back. I was working so hard in a while. So, and uh, I saw that they tried to shoot them. He fired two shots. One hit the home across the street. I was in the house. I thought it was fireworks. He was in the right. You don't go in and try and rob somebody when they work hard because he's a hard working gentleman. But police say the store owner could face charges because the suspects were running away. If that person is a threat to somebody else, you justified in using deadly force. Back at work today, the store owner says he was protecting his family and his livelihood. I, I feel lucky, you know what I mean? They don't hurt me. That's all I, I, I pray for. So I, I feel fine. Now, we're told a witness said one of the suspects had a gun as he was running away, but police are still looking for those two suspects. We're live in Lowell, Brandon Gano, 7 News 19.